Okay, continuing with this series on Scratch. Again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist. And today we're going to be looking at moving our character with our mouse. So I'm starting off with a, a new Scratch project. Again, I'm at scratch.mit.edu, and I'm just using their web interface here. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off, and I'm going to go to controls, or sorry, events, and I'm going to say when the sprite is clicked. So again, our character is a sprite. And we have our character selected here. So I'm going to say, when I click him, I want to move him to a certain location. So we can say, go to uh, zero, zero, which is the center of the screen. So if I start the game now, and I click on the cat and let go, he jumps to the center of the screen. No matter where he is, if I click him, he goes to the center of the screen. But I want him to follow my mouse. So what we can do here is if we go over sensors is a category we haven't gotten to and these are different things that uh, that the game can sense okay uh, and one of the things here that we can look at is mouse X and mouse Y so these will always tell us where the mouse is on the X and Y coordinates so what I'm going to do here is you notice we can type a number here but I can also drag this mouse X and I can put it there. Now make sure when you put it there that it highlights white before you drop it. Because if you put it like this, uh, let's see if I can do it like that, that's not in there. <laughs> it's gotta be there. You'll see that it says, go to X, mouse X. If you can't see all the words there, you didn't put it in the right spot. I don't want that to catch you up. And I'm gonna say Y, whoops. So now that I've done that, anytime I click the cat, He's going to center on where my cursor is. Problem with this is I have to actually click the mouse, click, click the cat. <laughs> uh, and if I click over here, you notice he doesn't move because I have it set to only happen when I click him. And what I really want is no matter where I move the mouse, the cursor, I want the cat to follow. So let's just get rid of this altogether. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, events. And I'm going to say when the game starts. So when you click the green flag, I want something to happen. So let me give you an example of this before we use the mouse, is that uh, we can have these controls. And one of the controls is to do something forever. So what I can do is I can click here. And for example, I can go to motion and I can say turn the cat 15 degrees. So now in the past, if we if we just connect this to here. So we say, when clicked the, the flag, turn 15 degrees. Every time we click the flag, he turns 15 degrees one time. But if we put forever there, now when we click start, the catch is going to continuously forever until we stop the game with the stop button, spin 15 more degrees over and over and over and over again. So that's what we want to do, but with our mouse coordinates. So let's get rid of this turn. And actually, let's real quick uh, position our cat. Uh, so we're going to point in a direction. I'm going to just put this here and click start. So I showed you that in a previous video. You can point him in a certain direction. So I just did that real quick to point him at 90 degrees. So he's facing the right way. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say forever we want the, the cat to go to a certain position. Going back to sensors here, I'm going to grab mouse X and mouse Y, whoops, you gotta make sure you drop it on there properly. And now, you see nothing happens, but when I click start, I don't have to click anywhere I move, my, cat, my mouse, the cat follows, which is pretty neat. Um, but let's think of more of a game. So kind of what we're shooting for here is kind of a, uh, kind of like a breakout or a space invader type game where we're going to have some sort of ship down at the bottom of the screen moving back and forth, but not necessarily front and back. So what we can do here is we can remove the mouse Y, which if you remember, Y is up and down on our screen here. And I'm just going to set that to zero. And now, anytime I start my game, the cat is always at zero on the Y, but it follows the mouse cursor left and right on the X. And in actuality, you know, if, if it was like a Space Invader type game, we'd want them further down. So we can say like 
negative 150 here. And you can see right away, since their game is already going, it followed it. So now our cat's down at the bottom of the screen. Let's try negative 125. There we go. Now he's at the bottom of the screen. Very nice. And he follows the mouse left and right. So again, this is saying, this is all our code. Remember, we started fresh today, so we don't have all that other code. This is all we did, three blocks, or four blocks if you count the mouse X, to create this basic little game that doesn't really have a use yet other than moving the cat, but it says when you click start, forever have the cat follow the mouse on the X axis. And that is it. I do thank you for watching. Again, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist. Uh, and I have more videos coming, so keep on watching. And as always, uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There you can search through all my videos, and I have thousands of them. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.